This is the Ipsy shoot held at the Wolverton Mountain Gun Club on Saturday, 30 April 2011. We'll start with an overview and walkthrough. IPSC stands for the International Practical Shooting Confederation, founded in 1976 by Jeff Cooper. Originally intended to simulate real-world combat handgun techniques, the sport has now changed to a high-performance race format using expensive custom hardware, much to Cooper's disappointment. Safety is paramount. The simplest and most effective rules are Jeff Cooper's four rules, shown here and widely available on the internet. They are simple, logical, and easy to remember. While some competitors spend thousands of dollars on their weapons and equipment, you don't have to. The pistol I use for IPSC is a cheap Philippine copy of John Browning's model of 1911, which retails for about $400. Most full-size regular production handguns will serve. The 1911 family still dominates the sport, but most types are welcome, including revolvers. You don't need expensive holsters, belts, or clothing either. Jeans and a t-shirt and a plain leather belt from the local department store will do fine. The holster I use is an Uncle Mike's Kydex model for about $20. I also have magazine carriers of the same type for about the same price. One thing you do need is more magazines or speed loaders for revolvers. At least four, no matter what your weapon's capacity is, as some stages have mandatory reloads. Magazines are the weak point in any magazine-fed weapon, and you must have several you can trust. For my single column 45 1911, I use the Chip McCormick Corp brand for about $25 each. They have never failed me. Naturally, eye and ear protection are required. Whatever the sporting goods aisle has in stock will usually be good enough. At an IPSC shoot, there will usually be a map and description of each stage. Here you see the map for stage 1, and here is a photo from near the start position. A more detailed description will be in the following videos, which will focus on each stage. Every stage requires the shooter to move and to engage multiple targets. Usually at least some of these targets are obscured, so not all targets can be shot from the same position. Most stages require a reload at some point, if only from the number of rounds fired. There are different kinds of targets, but the most common is the brown cardboard silhouette. Exact scoring rules may vary, but you want to hit it in the middle. The target is divided into the A zone, which includes part of the head, the rarely used B zone, the C zone, and the D zone. Now we'll have video of match director Rule Emery giving the introduction and safety briefing. Uh, thank you all for coming today. We're really all about safe here. The important things for those of us who forget this is a cold range. The pistol is either holstered or in a case, except when you're on the firing line and the range officer is protecting you. Uh, you have to work, the safety area is in your car if you got to work on your pistol, switch back and forth holsters or whatever. We observe the 180, you turn around with the gun like that, you know, back at your buddies, that's a DQ. Around in the tub walls is a DQ, okay, for any reason, all right? Uh, other clubs? Uh, Lone Oak is having an action pistol match just like this one next Saturday. Four stages, 88 rounds, <clears throat> 9 o'clock sign up, 9.30 we start shooting, uh, fee is $10. Mark? Uh, fourth Saturday of the month, 9 a.m., head-to-head uh, -head steel plate uh, race match. Uh, anything goes for a fire revolver, no limitations, any category, $5 per entry. You can enter one or all three. Right. Here are some tips to help the match run smoothly. Show up early so you don't miss anything. Help set up the targets if it hasn't already been done. Have all your gear together so no one is waiting on you. And get your stuff down to one bag. Try that again, Kenny. With a nice big pocket for your brass. Walk through the stage before shooting to develop a strategy of fire and movement. Know what you are going to shoot, in what order, and where and when you will need to reload. A slow shooter who doesn't miss will often score higher than a fast shooter who didn't plan ahead. Strategy already. Shooter ready. Stand by. I'll have a good 
Reload as you move. Very good. Good. Two. Two in the middle. Two on the right. Move. Reload. Very good. Very good. That's it. Get over there. Unmask the target. Aim and squeeze. A zone. A zone. That's good. Well done. Be familiar with the range officer's commands and know what to expect. Be familiar with your weapon and know, without having to stop and think about it, what to do if it stops working. Practice before the match and make sure your weapon is in good repair and that you have quality ammunition. So much for that. Oh, shit. Malfunction. Probably not the weapon, it's probably a light load. Um, overpowered spring? 14 pound spring. And what's the cartridge? What's the bullet? 4.4 cool. grains of HP 38. 45 ACP. What weight bullet? 4 .4. 200 grain. 200. Light load. Yeah. Okay. Light load and uh, Isn't if, this if you got a stove pipe, that means that it's usually slamming still okay. too fast. Get the shooting order. Yeah. It's capturing it before it Yes, before it's the, the same as before. Can't at the end of the run, follow the scorer to the targets so there will be no disputes about your score. Score, patch, and reset targets. Two tape targets. Help pick up and sort brass. Help pick up the brass and sort it by head stamp, by the marks. Finally, help with the teardown and cleanup at the end of the day. Today's match had four stages and 26 shooters. The shooters were divided into three squads who then took turns in three firing areas, one of which contained two stages. The next video will have a detailed description of stage one.